Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into Turfway Park for a wonderful Sunday afternoon of racing here. Eight races on the program. The temperature here in Florence, 32 degrees. We have a first post in 25 minutes. The Tapita is fast. Race number one, we start to pick five. The jockey board number one, Amani's Kitten, is two over. Scratch the three, overnight success. Scratch the eight, barrel proof. Ownership correction on the nine, Radiant Cashel should just be Mike Rivas. And they are racing at Turfway. Level dispatch from the middle. Radiant Castle will get the first call. Also flashing speed. Call West and topping and through from the inside. Castillo's Amadis Kitten. These four lead the charge out of the shoot up the backside. Good one came away racing in fifth. The last option right alongside in sixth. To the outside, Darren Damsel is next. Deep on the course is Wild William. And still two back to remember the main. And another couple back to Court and Spark. The favorite as last past the half mile pole with 16 links to raise. Behind a quarter, 23 and three. Top Topping is the leader. Army Scout is the pressure to the outside. Two back to Call West in third. Radiant Castle the Gray is fourth. From between horses, Good One moves a closer fifth. Right alongside the last option, Amani's Kitten right there as well. Couple links further back to Daring Damp. So now, Corden Spark is underway. Still has a dozen links to raise as they took the half 47 and two. Topping still in control, length and a half. Army Scout is under a heavy drive from second. Call West committed to go three or four wide. Radiant Castle saved every yard from the backfield, continuing to Again, Court and Spark. Orange Cap raced up into six with about five lengths to raise. One quarter mile to get to Topping, who's still driving under the whip by a three-length margin. Court and Spark is loose and charging up into second, but maybe too late. Topping all the way up top. Topping wins by almost two in the end. Court and Spark was next, and it was Call West in the last option. 120 flat. In the winner's circle, number five, Topping. A six-year-old big gelded son by Country Day out of the flatter mare named Frosting. The Indiana owned, bred owned by Penny Lauer, trained by Mike Lauer, Malcolm Franklin, winning rider. Topping gate to wire for the fourth time in his career. Again, he picks up his fourth lifetime victory, his second here at Turfway, and he's bred in Indiana by Mike and Penny Lauer. The winner comes the six and a half, gate to wire 120. Flat. Exact to 109.20, 50 cent try, 122.60, dime super, $352 and change. Up next, race number two starts to pick four. Scratch part of the entry, the 1A sheet takes flight, take out the five, kick out the jams. Jockey change on the eight, not really, not really. Make it Luan Machado. They are racing. Good level beginning. Annie Bonnie on the stretch out, displaying speed. She has a lead and a fence on the run the first turn. War Tango will track her from second. Three deep goes not really, not really. Pure fashion, spun out about four deep. Saving every yard by Tommy Lee and advancing a couple positions. There goes Wilmore on the drop. And more in the Hamptons will have to do it from the back. On the back, eight links off the lead. Just outside six furlongs to travel. And they're chasing Annie Bonnie. Annie Bonnie, the daughter of Get Stormy, shows away by a length. War Tango on the stretch out will track her from second. Not really, not really in from Noah from third. From between horses, as they continue to run up the backside, it is Wilmore. Down on the inside, advancing my Tommy Lee, then deep on the course. Pure fashion's been parked out every step. And three leagues for the back to Moore in the Hampton, still last of them all. They pass the half mile. The first half mile up on the board in a slow 50 and 1. And more in the Hamptons has now been drawn within about nine lengths of the lead as they're still chasing Annie Bonnie. Annie Bonnie shows the way a length and a half. War Tango's been given the cue to go. She's still tracking from second. Not really, not really stalking to the outside from third. Pure Fashion is next to the inside. My Tommy Lee still a couple back to Wilmore. And never in it was more in the Hamptons. Top at home stretch. Annie Bonnie. Now the whip comes out to the outside. Not really, not really set to strike from second. From between horses, War Tango nowhere to go. Just had to check as my Tommy Lee drifted out in front of him and continuing to come outwardly into Pure Fashion. Top at a home stretch. It is not really, not really, but Pure Fashion has the momentum, and Pure Fashion going right on by. My Tommy Lee just took up Pure Fashion to the outside to win it. Not really, not really was second. My Tommy Lee third in a three-way pitcher for fourth involving my, or excuse me, Annie Bonney, Wilmore, and Wartango. In the winner's circle, number one, Pure Fashion, the eighth time the charm here for this four-year-old grand daughter. 
of Frosted out of the Galileo mare named Precious Stone. The winner owned by Jerry Jimgachi and trained by Eric Reed and ridden to victory by Sonny Leone. Pure fashion bred in Great Britain by Harris Don Alberto. Pure fashion breaks the maiden on the drop in class and stretching back out to the mile home a winner 143 and two. Prices up ten dollars five sixty three forty on the winner. Exact is seventy one dollars. Trifecta eighty nine seventy. The daily double one hundred sixty three dollars twenty cents. Superfecta one eight three four for a dime eighty five dollars sixty five cents. Up next, the third event, race number three from Turfway. Scratch the two Osagano. Also scratch the seven Roni Storm. Jockey change on the three orb of the burrow to Luan Machado. And they are racing. Rule follower stood there as they kicked it, and he's a long way last. Southern Wales sharply for the lead. The gray English tide will press, and from the inside, Orb of the Burrow. Now, Orb of the Burrow goes on through to overtake the lead from English tide, who's to the outside. Three links for the back. Percentage will stalk that duo from third. Then it's Southern Will right alongside as ZU at the races, who's fifth as they head up the backside about nine off the lead. Still seven or eight back to leave it to Kitten, and after that slow beginning, Rule follower is starting to roll as they pass the half. Strung out, though, in behind the leader by just about 15 lengths as English Tide has come on to retake over Orb of the Borough. The quarter on the board, 23 and 3. Percentage at 3 to 2, stalking and clear, moving well on the turn back from third. ZU at the races is fourth. Southern Will under a heavy drive from fifth. Still five or six. Back to Rue Follower and leave it to Kitten is all alone at the back of the pack. The half mile, 47 and 4. There goes a four wide blitz from Percentage. And Percentage, just like that, takes the lead and he's doing it well in hand. Whips out on ZU at the Races who shifts course and up the inside still fighting on English tied one furlong to go and percentage is now given the cue to go and he's in front by three now by four basically a paid workout percentage gathered up and reeled in the end Ramos in victory formation wins by about two ZU at the races ran on to be second English tied third in 120 flat into the winner's circle joining Liz and Randy Klopp is number four percentage a five-year-old grab run gelt is done by the factor out of the lemon drop kid mare named Yellow Boat. The winner is owned by the Spee Stable of Rogers Spee and Randy Klopp. The winning trainer is Randy and the winning jockey, the first one of the meet for jockey Joe Ramos. Number four percentage picks up his third lifetime victory, his second over the synthetic here as he turns back to the six and a half furlongs and wins under wraps in 120 flat. Percentage bred in Maryland by Robert S. Evans. In race three, official 4856. We kick off the single six with a heavy favorite who obliges at five dollars three sixty two eighty. Exact to twenty seven sixty fifty cent try thirty five dollars. The double one and four twenty six dollars and sixty cents. Time super twenty dollars forty seven cents. First pick three of the afternoon seventy six dollars and five cents. The fourth race is up next. Made in Philly mayor fifteen claimers to go six and a half furlongs. Change of jockey on the four, Miss Sovelia to Rogelio Miranda. Scratch the 11, Stormy Diva. Race four coming up next. And they are racing. Slow start for Anna's Moonlight. Quick start for the middle for Windward Flow. Ike is also flashing speed. And up on the extreme outside, the gray cross the T's. Through from the inside, one fast orb. And also Honest Intentions joins the front ranks. Then it's Coronado Justice, two back to Miss Sovelli, a similar margin to Miss Giddyup, who's on the move. Then La Lucha Dora's about two in front of slow starting Anna's Moonlight. And another three, maybe even four links back to the trailer, this masquerade. Up the backside, the quarter 23 and four, three and one half furlongs to go. They're strung out. And the two leaders are Ikiz and Windward Flow. Two big long shots up top, towing along, cross the tees. There goes Miss Sovelia, cut loose to the outside with a four wide blitz. One fast storm, shuffled back to fifth. Honest and Attention, shoved hard from six. A link for the back to Miss Giddy Up and Coronado just as still two. Back to Anna's Moonlight, who's on the move after the slow start. Half mile 48 and three. 
Three across the course from the inside out. Windward flow across the tees and Miss Sovelli at top on a home stretch and cross the tees coming after windward flow. Whips out on Miss Sovelli up the inside comes uh, Honest Intentions in one fast orb down the center. Miss Giddy up one sixteenth left. Windward flow still driving on a two length lead. Miss Giddy up lunging up to the outside and she has her. Miss Giddy up will get up in the final stages by a length. Windward flow was second then it was cross the tees. Honest Intentions and Miss Sevilla in 121 and 3. In the winner's circle, number three, Miss Giddy Up, a four year old dark bear brown daughter by Get Stormy out of the Monashi Mountain Mare named Up and Away. The winner's own to train by Don Parker. Ridden to victory by Alex's Shard. Made and break in performance in the eighth start here for Miss Giddy Up, who was bred in Kentucky by Buff Bradley. Miss Giddy Up covered the six and a half furlongs from off the pace, 121 and 3. Price is up 11.67.45.60 on the winner. Time super $552.63. The pick three $74.40. Exact the 303.60 50 cent try $755.15. The daily double was worth $64.80. Up next, the fifth race starting leg of the late pick four. Made in special weight for the Philly three years old to go a mile and 16th. For $62,000. Scratch numbers 1, 4, 13, 14. Jockey change on the 8 to Julio Felix. And they are racing. Good start for Jacachi, who's quick into stride. Kelly Bag flashing speed. Kiero Moss close to the pace today. Better look out is forwardly placed, but she's going to be parked out wide four across the course as they head into the opening turn, where Jacachi has the lead and the fence. Just narrowly, though, she has pressure in the name of Kelly Bag and a three wide better look out. Kiero Moss taking off this trio from fourth, about three and a half off the pace, four in front of Gilded Quest. Then we trail back about two lengths down along the inside. It's Legerity. She shaded up to the outside by uh, My Lily May. Deep on the course, there goes Tap That App. And a couple lengths further back as they head up the backside to the trailer. And out at the back of the pack, it's Paris, Kentucky. The quarter, 24 seconds flat. They have four and a half furlongs to travel. Chasing Jacachi. Jacachi and Gerardo Corrales doling out the fractions. Kiero Moss second. Up on the outside, better look out. Kelly Bag. these three right across the course. Now four across the course as they pass the half. The half in 48 and four. Locked and loaded. Gilded Quest, the daughter of Gunrunner. In behind that quartet on the stretch out. She She's full to run. Needs some racing luck right now. She's covered up by my Lily May, who's making a daring move in between horses there. And from the backfield, starting to run on. Here's the daughter of Connect. LeGerity is underway. They continue to race around the turn just outside a quarter mile to go. And Kiero Moss comes calling for the lead. My Lily May up to the outside from the backfield. Paris, Kentucky unleashing a strong bid on the far turn run. Legerity is uh, into stride as well. Top of the home stretch. And My Lily May, uh, My Lily May on the stretch out trying to put it all together today. Paris, Kentucky upset minded to the outside. Legerity gets the split down towards the inside. Here she comes. But Paris, Kentucky over the top trying to pull a big upset. Legerity racing to the inside and Legerity would not be denied. Legerity in a heads up ride from a shard gets up to win. Paris Kentucky was next and then my Lily May faded to third in 148 and three. In the winner's circle, number five, Legerity. Legerity, a three-year-old dark bear brown daughter by Connect out of the deputy minister mayor named Clear Destiny. The winner's owned by Susan Moulton, trained by Kenny McPeak and Alexa Shard with his second Winning ride tonight. Two wins in a row for Alexa Shard. For Legerity, this is her maiden break in performance coming in her fifth start. She covered the mile in 16th and 148 and 3. Legerity, bred in Kentucky by Scartine Stud LLC. And the fifth is official. Price is up $724.23 on the winner. Exact at 95.60, 50 cent try, 58.60. Pick four, $211.40, 10 cent super, $69.04. The pick five, consolation four of five, each of those will get back $21.35. Winning pick five, $1,634.45. Again, the pick three, $52.70. Exact again, 95.60, that 50 cent try, that price was $124.30. The double three of five was 58 
60. Up next, the sixth event, race number six from Turfway, your final pick three of the afternoon. It starts with a non-2-5 claimer to go a mile. The jockey on the two is four over, scratch the seven. The jockey on the nine is Luan Machado, take out 13 and 14. And they are racing. Set in shortly after the start was put in tight, and he is last. Son of Grace is first out of the run the first turn by George. Hard hustle to the inside of that one. Comes on through to dictate the terms now and overtake the lead. So by George, just from Son of Grace. These two have quickened about three, maybe three and a half lengths from third racing Brighton's DJ. Monkey zone to the inside of Mr. Flattery. They're fourth and fifth as they turn up the backside in five, clear of dual fuel. Deep on the course is signs of a warrior that a link for the back to Mr. Banyan as they run up the backside. And then there's a break of just about a length back to Niagara Gold. Still two back to Money Pit, who is second last, another seven to slow starting Setson, who's over 20 links out of it outside the half mile pole. The quarter kind of quick, 23-3 and three by George. Hustled out to the front, shows the way by a length. Son of Grace still tracking in the clear from second. Brighton's DJ with a wide angle on the far turn run from third. Monkey zone to the inside, fourth. Down on the inside, dual fuel is next. Half mile, 48 and three-fifths seconds. Chasing by George. Son of Grace is second. Three wide. There goes Niagara Gold. Cut loose to the outside. Dual fuel trying to catch a hole in between Son of Grace and Monkey Zone as they race around the turn. And, in fact, he does get the split from the backfield. Signs of a warrior and Mr. Flattery. Top of the home stretch. Three quarters, 15 and two. Down the stretch they roll. And Niagara Gold has come on to take the lead as they lean into the lane. But the danger is dual fuel who's set down. Now he's shifting ground and angling down towards the inside of Niagara Gold who's one out to the middle of the course. We're down to dual fuel and Niagara Gold down to the wire. Dual fuel, Niagara Gold. Niagara Gold wins by a half a length. Dual fuel was second and about 10 or 11 links back to Mr. Banyan who got up for third. Photo between Money Pit and Signs of a Warrior for fourth, 141 and three. Into the winner's circle, number nine, Niagara Gold, a six-year-old dark bear brown gilded son by Niagara Causeway. Out of the Medagladoro Mayor named Our Smile. The winner is owned by the La Bahia Stud Incorporated, trained by John Ennis, and Luan Machado picks up the winning ride. Price is up $9 for $83.80 on the winner. Exact to $44.60, the try $62.45. The double was $67.40. The pick three, $74.05. Dime Super, $192 even. Seventh race is up next. Change of jockey on the one. Divine leader make the rider Luan Machado. Field of 10 to go six and a half to start the late double. Uh, up next. And they are racing. For the lead from between horses, boom, 5,000, but quickly Divine Leader for the inside stall is hard hustle to get position here as they leave the shoot and straighten up the main course, and Divine Leader comes on through to take the lead, so the favorite shows away three parts of a length to Boa Nova and boom, 5,000. Then down on the inside, away in the third, fourth position is John's Rock. Up on the extreme outside is Powell, verified from between horses, as Cable Channel is right in the thick of things, too. He's on hold at this juncture, covered up to the outside by X-Prompt, and Caramelita will have to do it from the back, but now he's advancing underneath horses. We'll need some racing luck, though. Quarter 23-3. and three. Divine leader at 8-5, towing along Boa Nova. Boom, 5,000 to the outside of John's Rock there, third and fourth. Paolo is underway in the fifth position. Up the inside, Caramelito has raced up at the sixth, and he's getting a dream trip along the rail. He's going to split horses here as he's going to have to go between John's Rock and Boom, 5,000. Top of the lane, Divine leader is the leader. Divine leader off the turn in front by a length and a half. Boa Nova could not quicken, but Caramelito is the danger down the center of the track, and Caramelito coming after Divine leader. He has just outside a 16th to go and divine leader is in front by three and divine leader is home and cooled divine leader wins it by almost three lengths john drock was second carabolito third bolanova checked in fourth the winner number one divine leader a five-year-old chestnut gilded son by will take charge out of the divine park mayor named divine trick the winner's owned by mark arnold trained by john ennis and luan machado the winning rider that's two wins on the card for both Jackie Luan Machado and trainer John Ennis. Number one divine leader as your official winner returns five twenty-four dollars and two eighty. Exact to seventy-two forty. Try forty-nine thirty. The double twenty-eight sixty. 
Dime Super, $68.26. 50 cent pick three, $37.50. Up next, the eighth and final. Eighth and final race has high five wagering, carry over $2,797 in the eighth and final. Be aware that numbers two and three are both scratched. The two and three are scratched. Jockey change on the 10, Dragon Drew to Malcolm Franklin. And be aware the 13 has drawn in and is set to go. And they are racing. Hop at the start for Hopped Up and Quick into Stride was Strong Yen. Also flashing speed up to the outside. It is Beverly Park. Extreme outside, Dragon Drew. These three across the course, about four in front of Mr. 11th Hour, who's shaded by Treetop Flyer, who's on the move up the backside. Kitchen Fire is next. Joyful Heart came away racing about nine links off the lead, two in front of Hopped Up as they run down the back stride. Then it's Crockett's Bluff and a couple links further back to War Stroll as they lean into the far turn, the quarter 22 and two. Strong in to the inside. Beverly Park, synthetic debut in the middle, and Dragon Drew is poised to the outside with Malcolm from third. Still four lengths for the back to tree. Top flyer up the inside. Mr. 11th hour. Hopped up is about six lengths off the lead. Whips out on Joyful Heart. War Stroll is moving well in hand as they race around the turn and it is Dragon Drew who comes calling for the lead. Beverly Park to the inside. They're about seven across the course outside the furlong marker where it's hopped up and tree. Top flyer come to tackle Dragon Drew. Beverly Park could not sustain on synthetic debut and over the top here comes Crockett's Bluff in War Stroll in War Stroll is going to get up to win it by a neck. War Stroll was moving well in hand on the far turn run and uh, was able to quicken into stride through the lane to get up to win in a three horse photo in 112 flat. War Stroll, a nine year old upset winner. Into the winner's circle, the second longest shot on the board, 38 to 1 winner, number seven, War Stroll. A nine-year-old big gilded son by Stroll out of the gilded time mare named Gildy. The winner is owned by the Barack Farm of Charles Parker, Dino's Thoroughbreds of Dean Barber, Pete's Thoroughbreds of Bruce Tackett, and also Gary Tackett, the winning trainer Mike Morrison, the winning jockey for Ren Peterson. Number seven, War Stroll picks up the seventh lifetime victory and the synthetic debut, a emphatic one. Impressive win here for number seven, War Stroll, who covered the six furlongs in 112 flat. 79, 20, 23, 48, 40 on the winner. Pick four, $3,200.35. Dime Super, $1,171.75. The pick three, $487.95. Super High Five will carry $5,929 and change. Exact to 485.80, the 50 cent try, $680. The daily double, one and seven, $220. $8. No winners in the pick six. That carries $44,591.35 into Friday's card. And that's when we'll be back here with an eight race card and a 615 post. See you then.